Hello everybody, this is the Retro Bear and welcome to another thrilling episode of Barely Played where I barely play something in the fashion only I am accustomed to. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this episode and we are playing Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. Not everybody's favourite Mario Kart game, it has to be said, but one of the games that I particularly enjoy playing and what we're going to do for this brief edition of this program is to take you through three rounds of the Mushroom Cup Luigi circuit at 50cc, 100cc and 150cc. I think it's 150cc, I can't quite remember. Uh, as you see I picked uh, Yoshi and Koopa to um, go around this particular circuit and I'm going to use the same characters and the same vehicle each time round. So uh, we'll wait for the start and we'll have a running start and away we go and a cracking start. So this is the easiest level on this particular um, version of Mario Kart, that's what the 50cc ones are. And uh, if you've never played Mario Kart before, then where the hell have you been? Uh, it's been 30 years since it first came out. And it's a series that I've accustomed to sort of enjoy more as this game has gone on. I didn't think do the first one. Um, I'm one of the few people who like this one and the N64 version. I've played the current version on the Switch as well. Simple kart gate racing game, you go through uh, these little boxes here which give you an opportunity for a weapon, you collect weapons, you can throw them at, uh, drop them around the track or throw them at the uh, uh, cars as they go past. And just the idea is to finish first in all the tracks and therefore uh, become king of Mario Kart. Or queen, you can do as that may case may be. And um, yes, I had this, gosh, years and years ago when it first, I say it first came out, when I first started collecting the GameCube again, I was very fortunate to get game up quite cheaply. I can't remember how much I pay for it, but I think I paid more than the pen, which is rather unusual, as most people would know. And it's just a game I, I quite enjoy. As you can see, the characters are sort of swapping places, and that was one of the um, sort of, I suppose, really selling points for this particular um, version of the franchise. In fact, you could do that. Did it make a lot of difference? I, I don't know whether it did or it didn't in terms of the overall thing. This is a particularly easy track. We'll see as we get on through sort of laps, uh, the next sort of ones up, how difficult that game uh, does become. This is quite an easy one, straightforward, very, very, very sort of one. Love the how colourful it looks and um, it's just a, a really nice game to look at and you know, vast improvement certainly on the previous versions. Uh, you know the whole sort of Mario world brought into it. It's, it's, it's a game. It's a game that's grown on me over time, which is really unusual. I used to hate Mario Kart with an absolute passion. Um, yeah, so they appear to be riding something which appears to be a, a sort of a dinosaur. You got little boosts going around the outside there. If you hit those, and you can see there's little sparks under the wheels that are going around. Uh, that's obviously to try and generate enough sort of. Oh, what hell's that? Um, to generate some sort of extra power by skidding through the corners and then it gives you a bit of a speed boost which is something I never used to be able to do because no one used to tell me how to do it. I had to find out for myself. One of the painful games of Mario Kart I used to play back on the Super Nintendo. But as I said this is quite an easy one. You can see on the right hand side I am so far in front uh, as we go across the line. And there we go. Two minutes, eight seconds. And a few bits and pieces. There we go. So, um... I thought, well, should I go through the entire Mushroom Cup 50cc? And I thought, well, you know what? No, I think what I'll do is I'll actually sort of play the same track over and over again and on the three difficulty levels, and let's see how we get on. So we'll segue into the 100cc. There we go. And again, as I said before, picking the same characters as before with the same vehicle. Let's go. Now, the one thing I found about this was there is as always as you expect to be a jump between the 50cc and the 100cc all of a sudden things get a little bit more difficult and as we go through you'll gradually see towards the end the reason why i hate this game so much that's a crap start by the way you'll notice there that the um, completely stalled i think you time it you press the um, uh, acceleration button at the right time you get sort of jump start and obviously you're completely wrong but you'll just see as we go through this just how unfair sometimes this game can be. Yep, so there we go. So currently in third place. I, ooh, oh, hang on. I see I've been hit, hit by something. Did that happen in the last one? I, I can't remember. I don't think I got hit by anything in the first one. So um, already it's stopped. Oh, there we go. And the second one I've been hit with. Brilliant. 
Got a little boost there to try and catch up uh, Bowser. Passing around the outside, get some. See, he's already overtaken me on the inside again. Oh, God. Controlling it like a bar of soap. A little bit of a boost there, and acceleration to take pass. So that's now two. Second place. Oh, and there's a banana skin which now enables me to go past Mario and Luigi. So, definitely hitting better speeds on this one as well. 63 miles an hour, apparently. Avoid the banana skin, you fool, but we've carried on going. And there's people coming the other way, you'll notice, as they're coming down the one side of the track for some reason. Way behind, by the looks of it. Not quite sure how that works. And there's a giant green shell just disappearing over the horizon. What on earth is that? So another super skid round the corner, let's build some speed up and then accelerate. And um, what happened there? I don't know. Final lap. Final lap. So we are ahead. And we are a little distance ahead. You'll see on the right hand side, there's P1, that's me. Plowing on through. See Mario and Luigi quite some distance behind at the moment. And Bowser currently just behind there. You can see Wario uh, and Waluigi with a guy the worst name in computer game history just behind there. Get on the track. Why do I throw that over there? Oh, goodness me. And they're catching up a bit, but there's some acceleration there to take me away. It's going to be a tight finish, this one. Oh, goodness me, that was... Is that Peach coming in the wrong direction? What earth is she doing? Oh, see, and there, we've been hit by a red shell, and then Mario and Luigi have just gone past. Oh, and there's some slowdown on the computer. Quick, hit them with a green shell. Oh, and I've been hit me with something. And then all of a sudden, there we go. It's Mario Kart being its usual cheating self. First place as we go into the final corner, and then I'm hit by not one, but two, ladies and gentlemen, two uh, foreign objects, which cause me to crash and therefore finish in third place. Now, see, that is why I do not like this game sometimes. I appreciate there is some skill level involved. I appreciate uh, that, you know, technically, I'm not very good at games. But when something like that happens, you cannot but help to think you know what i hate this game for all the right reasons so first level 50 cc incredibly easy led people from start to finish second level 100 cc led pretty much most of the way until the final corner let's see how we get on on the 150 cc now always when i play mario Kart, like i said i always play it all the way through 50 cc go through all the tracks and another crap start uh, 50cc all the tracks, 100cc all the tracks, make sure I finish in first place if I can, um, before moving on. And it's always when I get 150cc problems begin, and that's not good. So we're already in fifth place here, we've got some acceleration around the corner, we've hit the oh god. Hit a couple of speed and then drive off the side of the track, which is always brilliant if you're trying to sort of do something. Currently in fourth, and then I've just been overtaken by that thing from the Muppets by the looks of it. But no, 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 no. And yeah, red shells. So, again, goes to show if you play this, these games enough, you sort of realise that the further on down the field you are, the further the further behind you are, um, the more decent items you get. Whereas you're going to be sitting in first place all the time, you get a lot of banana skins or fake mystery boxes. That's my theory on Mario Kart. Whoops. Ouch. Oh, dear. Oh, so back to fifth again. So we're a long way behind. You can see the first three, which is on the right-hand side, which looks to be Baby Mario, uh, Bowser, and uh, Luigi and Donkey Kong, I think it is. Long way behind. I'm com now driving in completely the wrong direction. We've gone down to seventh. Ugh. Back up to se still seventh. Ah, some speed boosting. Oh, no shoes. So I'm on to the final lap. You'll also notice in the top right hand corner, I was doing 43, 42 seconds a lap on the, on the 50cc one. Doing four seconds a lap quicker because of the uh, higher propensity and top speed you can get on these things. Currently fifth, let's try and pick up a decent... Uh, okay, we've got... Uh, brilliant. So you fire a red shell at the fifth place car and then all of a sudden you drop back to sixth. Brilliant. Way, way behind at the moment. Sixth at the moment. Can we get into the top three? We're now in fourth. We're now in fourth. This is the final bend. We're now back to fifth. Oh, what a bit of a slipstream there. And round the outside, a finish fourth. And sad face, Yoshi. 
<laughs> also, sad face retro bear, because that's really disappointing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick whiz round Mario Kart Double Nash on the GameCube. If you have enjoyed that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tick the notification bell for more uh, stuff coming from my channel on uh, all of the stuff I do. Uh, in the meantime, this has been the Retro Bear speaking to you about Barely Played. Thank you very much indeed for your company. Do take care. And bye for now.